All right, class as promised, I'm going to record a, a solution video. It's going to probably take me two, maybe three videos to do it all and explain well. But let's look at this first and solve the following system of equation using uh, Kramer's rule. First, show the augmented matrix form of the system of equations. So let's do that first. The uh, augmented matrix form is just the coefficients of each equation, negative 4, 5. It's negative 4x plus 5y. The bottom equation is 1x minus 4y. And then augmented by the solution column 8, 3. That's my augmented matrix form of these system of equations. And then show all work, use correct notation to uh, solve it using Kramer's rule. So Kramer's rule has, for uh, two equations, two unknowns, has three matrices that we're going to take determinants of. Uh, the first matrix is I call the D matrix, and that's just the coefficients, negative 4, 5, 1, negative 4. So negative 4, 5, 1, negative 4. That's my D matrix. D sub X matrix, I replace the negative 4, 1 with the solution 8, 3. Leave the second column the same. The Y column stays the same. So the X column gets replaced with 8, 3. The Y column remains 5, negative 4. And then the D sub Y matrix, I leave the first column, I put it back the way it was, it was negative 4, 1. And I replace the second column, I replace the 5, negative 4 with the solution 8, 3. And then I take the determinants. So let me take that mark out. The determinant of the D matrix, I write notationally as the determinant of the D matrix. It's absolute value symbol. It's uh, the same as magnitude, but in matrix language, it's the determinant of. So the determinant of D is the determinant of negative 4, 5, 1, negative 4. Notice I changed the brackets to straight lines. And to find the determinant of a 2 by 2, it's negative 4 times negative 4 subtract 1 times 5. So let's just write that out. I know you could probably do that in your head, but just for notes, it's negative 4 times negative 4, always subtract, and then 1 times 5. That equals 16 minus 5, which is 11. Okay. Uh, the determinant of the D sub X matrix is, notationally, the determinant of D sub X is the determinant of the matrix 8, 5, 3, negative 4, 8, 5, 3, negative 4, and that equals 8 times negative 4, subtract uh, 3 times 5. That is negative 32, subtract 15, which gives me a negative 47. Finally, the determinant of the D sub Y matrix is the determinant of negative 4, 8, 1, 3. And again, that's negative 4 times 3. Subtract 1 times 8. That gives me negative 12. Subtract 8, which is negative 20. So the X solution of the system of equations is the determinant of D sub X divided by the determinant of D which in our problem is negative 47 over 11, which I can write as negative 47 over 11. And Y, the solution for Y is the determinant of the Y matrix over the determinant of D. And that is negative 20 divided by 11, negative 20 elevens. So let me cursor up here and uh, we'll verify this. Um, let me see, I should just be able to arrow down here. No, not too far. We'll just verify up here in the corner, that's fine. So we're gonna verify this real quick. We'll just verify with one. 
uh, of the equation. We'll do the simpler one on the bottom. So x minus 4y should equal 3. My x is negative 47 elevenths. Uh, minus 4 times my y, which is negative 20 elevenths, should equal 3. And negative 47 elevenths, negative 4 times negative 20 is positive 80. So I've got negative 47 plus 80 all over the same denominator, denominator 11, we hope equals 3. And negative 47 plus 80 is a positive 33. And yes, 33 divided by 11 does equal 3. We're good to go. All right, that's a good answer. So as an ordered pair, I could write this as an ordered pair, negative 47 elevenths, comma, negative 20 elevenths. That's the point in two space where these two lines cross each other. That's the solution to my systems of equations. All right, let's arrow down and work on the next one. The next one says, solve the following system of equations using Kramer's rule for uh, the determinant of D, use the down minus up technique. For the determinant of D sub X, use a general technique. For the determinant of D sub Y and D sub Z, use either technique. I'll use um, both of them, one, you know, one for the DY and one for the DZ. And once you get your ordered triplet solution, pick one equation and uh, verify your answer. So. Um, let's first write the augmented matrix for this. So this time it's a three by three matrix. Three, negative one, negative two, augmented by the solution 13. And you'd read this three X minus Y minus uh, two Z equals 13, just like it's, just like it's written. Uh, five, negative three, negative one, negative three, negative one, and the solution 3 and finally 4x plus 2y plus 5z is equal to 30. That's my augmented matrix. Let's just write down our uh, four matrices we need for this. We need the D matrix which is the coefficients 3 negative 1 negative 2 5 negative 3 negative 1 and 4 2 5. And then D sub X, I replace the first column with the solution column and the other two columns stay the same. So my first column, my X column is 13, 3, 30. And the other two columns stay the same. My D sub Y matrix, I replace the middle column with a solution column. The Y column gets replaced with a solution column. So three, five, four, uh, it goes back to 3, 5, 4 the, for the X column, the original 3, 5, 4. Negative 1, negative 3, 2 gets replaced with 13, 3, 30. And the Z column stays the same. Negative 2, negative 1, 5. Uh, my D sub Z matrix. The first two columns go back to the original, 3, 5, 4. Negative 1, negative 3, 2. And my z uh, coefficients get replaced with the solution column. All right. So uh, the d we're doing down minus up te uh, down minus up technique. So I would say the determinant of d is equal to, and for notational purposes, since this is a shortcut method, we should just go over here and do scrap work with it. So we should set up the three. 5, 4, the negative 1, negative 3, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 5. Then we write the first two columns over again. 3, 5, 4, and negative 1, negative 3, 2. Down minus up, I'm going to highlight these so we can see them better. Um, I'm going to highlight this upper left hand corner to the lower right hand. The 3, 5, a three negative three five. Um, I don't like that highlight at all. It's too thick. So let me shrink it down. I don't want to do different colors so we can see them a little bit better. This negative one, negative one, four, and this negative two, five, two. 
And those are my downs. So it's a down, down, down. My three ups, let's look. Um, I'll use this color, four, negative three, two. Let me go and put an arrow there. Two, negative one, three. Let's put an arrow there. And five, five, negative one. That's my three ups. So the way you do your downs, it's uh, you multiply the diagonal and then add it to the next diagonal and then add it to the next diagonal. So I'm going to write them here. It's going to be the first down is 3 times negative 3 times 5 plus the next down is negative 1, negative 1, 4. Negative 1 times negative 1 times 4. And the final down is negative 2 times 5 times 2. So plus negative 2 times 5 times 2. Subtract off big parentheses and then we have to do our ups. So within the big parentheses you do the same thing as we did for the downs. 4 times negative 3 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 1 times 3 plus 5 times 5 times negative 1. Close the big parentheses. It's a negative one. All right, let's do that math. Uh, negative uh, three times negative three is negative nine times five is negative forty-five. Plus negative one times negative one is positive one times four is four. Plus negative two times five is negative ten times two is negative twenty. Subtract big parentheses. Four times negative three is negative twelve times negative two is positive twenty-four plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 5 times 5 is 25 times negative 1 is negative 25. Let's clean this up a little bit. Um, negative 45 and negative 20 is negative 65 plus 4 is negative 61. Subtract off. Um, Negative 6 and negative 25 is negative 31. Negative 31 plus 24 is negative 7. So subtract off a negative 7. That is negative 61 plus 7, which is negative 54. That's our D determinant, okay, with the down minus up technique. All right, I'm going to stop the video here. We'll do... Because these are only 15 minute videos max and I only have like a couple minutes left. I don't have enough time to do the D sub X um, general technique on this video. So on the next video, we'll do the D sub X uh, general technique. The D sub Y, I'll do down minus up again. And the D sub D, uh, D sub Z, we'll do general. So I'll see you on the next video.